beautiful soul. Thank you for tuning in to Heaven on Earth. Myself, Rose, Nick Nightshade, and Michael Shane. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Nope. Hi, Michael. How are you? Um, I'm doing okay. A bit tired. Yes, because I hear that you have traveled now. You're on your way to traveling, or you've actually traveled a destination doing your upcoming classes in mediumship and some seance. Seances, healing seances, and billets and airports. Am I right? Correct. Very beautiful. I wish you always the best. I know you're fantastic and phenomenal in what you do. So you're a blessing. And I must say, I'm sure that everybody's waiting for you tomorrow. So much blessings to that. Yeah, it's a, we're in an old mansion called Ellis Mansion that was built back in the 1800s. And it's a nice, really nice place. It's interesting. So I want to ask you, things like this, when it comes to the homes that are quite old, right? So don't you find at times that there is spirit lingering around in there? Yeah. The the very first time I came here, I was with my daughter, Shannon, and she was um, sleeping out in the in, in one of the big room areas, and I was in another room. But while I was sitting on one of the couches watching TV with her, I noticed that there was a spirit um, looking at us up here above where I'm sitting right now, um, looking at us. And it was a spirit that looked like it was dressed um, with somebody back in the 19-teens, 1920s. Wow. Uh, and, and right behind me, you'll see some black visqueen plastic it's because they blacked out this room for when i do my seances beautiful so the actual seance is taking taking place in the other room then in the room i'm in now oh fantastic that's beautiful that's very beautiful when you encounter spirit along the journey i think it's really lovely so was there any communication with spirit during that time or no no mo most of the time the spirits don't communicate to you because you know they're, they're not really having anything to say mm -hmm. um, but it also takes a lot of energy that some spirits aren't aware of you of using to speak mm -hmm. to, because they got to go through you know a, a different dimension or so so forth so you can hear what they're having to say and in spirit there's no language so it's it's all uh, kind of confusing I understand but most of the times they do you know, bring forth their presence and this could be something that possibly perhaps maybe back in the times that they were attached to a certain room maybe a certain furniture or the building itself the structure the surroundings so I feel that a lot of these older homes in the 1800s and, and moving forward that sometimes spirit does stay now would you consider them Earthbound spirits or spirits that have crossed over? In this case, it's, it's earthbound spirits. There's a cemetery about 200 yards in the back. Mm. Okay. And not, not all the earthbound spirits, you know, um, are destructive. I think a lot of them are just here to kind of maybe, again, I feel like sometimes they are attached to certain things. Uh, yeah, they don't well, really want to let it go. You know, that uh, some of them have a hard time accepting that they're deceased. That's correct, yes. You know, I, I, I had a scenario where there was this woman who um, was married to this gentleman, and every time uh, they would become intimate, um, uh Apologize, we have a caller there. Sorry, there, Michael. Oh, we do have a caller. Oh, sorry. Oh, Shree. Shree. Shree? Yes. So, um, hello, Shree. Hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, I'm good, thank you. How are you? I am never better. Oh, good. So, what can we do for you today? Mm -hmm. Just wondering if. Either one of my parents had anything to say. Both of your parents have if passed. They'll come through. If either one comes through. 
I uh, let's see here. There is a spirit here that I feel has, had went through a it's a, it's a, a pretty tough time in their life. Um, and all I'm picking up is is kind of like an apology, I'm sorry or or forgiveness or something of that nature. Um in this particular case, I think either Rose or Nick should answer more connection on this one, if you would, okay. please. Because um, okay. I'm always never prepared to do loved ones. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Okay. But thank you, Mike. It's fine. Thank you very much. It's fine. That. But there, yeah, but there is there there is a there is a spirit that I that I am sensing around that um that they had a pretty tough life and it was kind of hard um, for them. And the passing was um, expected. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's all I'm picking up. Okay. Okay. Something about forgiveness and, and apologies. My dad does that every time, but he doesn't say why. Yeah, he's he's not saying why. It's just I I feel that that there was a sense that that he didn't feel uh, like he was good a good enough father or husband. Nobody was the best. He just didn't feel like it. No. So. I don't understand why he would ever say that. So he used to say that. He has said that through other readers. Mm. And he did tell me that before he had passed. Well, it's interesting he that he would say yeah. this again and then not say what he's, you know, sorry about or, or wanting to forgiveness or uh, it, that's kind of strange to me. So maybe Nix or Rose can see if he says anything to you guys okay. in regards to the walk. Closure. Closure? Mm-hmm. I never got closure because I told one reader to get him out of the room. This was years ago when he passed. I didn't want to talk to him. I was really upset. Something he had done wasn't to me. I didn't want to hear it. I know he's still trying to say it. He he seems like he's very upset about things that happened that he was involved in during his life. Um kind of an unsettled uh un uh unsettled spirit not yet okay. ready to go into the light until there's resolution to this issue mm-hmm. um the mother I'm not picking up on at all it, it's possible that she could be uh incarnated or planning on doing that again um mm-hmm. cuz there's definitely unresolved issues that needs to be resolved in order for them to uh, master their physical life, um, having to do with the emotions, anger, guilt, fear, sadness, those kind of things. Um, Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm picking up the, the, you being a child at the time, it was kind of tough for you during that period of time of your life. Oh, yeah. So, but, um, uh, Nick, Sir Rose, do you have anything to add? Okay. I just, I just feel she's, your mother's stepping forward and your father, and, I, and thank you, Michael, for that deliverance, because I have felt the same of things not being closed the way they needed to be closed, but they, they are stepping forward to say that even though there was some challenges, there was ups and downs, they're stepping forward to say how much they love you very, very much. 
Um, they are definitely watching over you. They're guiding you from above. And your mother is being quite cute and comical, and she's referencing to some books. So I'm not sure if she loved reading books or she had books that you might have of hers. There's something that she's referencing to that. Does that make any sense? Does that resonate with you? Yeah, I always wanted her books. I got nothing. Okay, so she's just referencing to that. Also, she's she is um, stepping forward to say to me something to do with a piece of clothing, like a jacket. It's not something that you would wear, but it's something that you would have of hers—a piece of clothing that is that is hanging up. Would you would you remember of something like that that you've kept behind as a memory? I got her hairbrush. Okay, her oh, hairbrush. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And was there anything piece of clothing that you have kept behind? Nope, I didn't live in the same state. My sister took everything. Oh, okay, so she is referencing to one from her child. Okay, as long as she's got her clothing, so she's just bringing that to acknowledge that she does still have things that are still here with one of the siblings. Thank you for that. Hmm. Um, your mm -hmm. father just does step forward just to once again apologize. It's not that he wasn't a good father. He's just saying he could have done better while he was here in the physical world. So I'm adding on to Michael's. So he is stepping forward to say sorry for that. But your mother okay. is saying thank you for being there at the end of her days. She's saying thank you.